that I completely understand their concerns. That's the only thing I can say. But I will try to convince them that, uh, that I'm prepared, that I wouldn't be sitting here if I honestly don't feel that I'm prepared to take this responsibility and that I will burn every drop of blood for this football club to make it better. A little bit close. <laughs> It wasn't the right time. When things doesn't happen, is because it wasn't the right time. The right time came now, and, and I'm glad I learned a lot from that experience as well. It was great to be part of a process of that nature. And, uh, and I was better prepared for this one, and I think it helped, and it was a very positive thing to happen. Well, when I was playing in England, um, I started to realize what Arsenal meant. Um, obviously, I was born in Barcelona and the club that had more similar style, more similar values and vision, it was Arsenal. So I always talked to the people around me that I had a dream and it was to play for this football club. And it was one man, his name is Arsene Wenger, that believed in me and gave me the opportunity to play for this club. And after that, he made me captain of this football club and I wouldn't be sitting here if he couldn't have the vision to, to give me a, the opportunity to enjoy this incredible club. Mm -hmm. Well, I have my ideas that I would like to keep uh, for myself because I have to corroborate them when, when I see them act, when I see them behave, when I see them live together. Um, I want to do things my way by convincing them that it's the right way for everybody to live better. Um, everybody has to respect each other first of all. And I want people who is accountable for what I'm asking him to do. I don't want people hiding him. I want people to take responsibility for the jobs. And I want people who delivers passion and energy to the football club. Every, anyone who doesn't buy into this, that is as a negative affect or whatever, is not good enough for this environment and this culture. So there are things to change, absolutely, because they're not performing at the level that we expect them to. But we have to help them. And to help them, I need to know what's happening. I need to understand them how they feel, what they're lacking, you know. If I get to reach that point, then I can help them. And then they will trust me and then they will follow me. Mm -hmm. Time will say, to talk about experience, uh, experience on a job, a job has a lot of roles and responsibilities. Some of them I was doing them in my previous job and some I did not. But most of them are linked. And there are things that you, ha you do have or you don't have. Um, the experience bit, I can't touch it. It's completely against me, you know? The good thing is I feel young, you know? When I was playing at 34, I was always the oldest. And now as a manager, I'm the youngest. So it has a lot of positive things uh, as well on that. Um, but I know it's, uh, it's what it is. I have to adapt to the job. Um, I want to have, and I have a lot of good people around me to support me, you know, and we will try our best. Yeah. He is a massive player for this football club, you know, and as I said before, what I want is I want to understand how they are feeling and what they need, you know? It's not so much about what I need, about you have to understand them. Because sometimes we just with conversation, you get to understand a point, you know? And when you understand them, I can take the excuses out of them and focus in the things that are relevant and have an impact for the team on the pitch and off the pitch, you know? But of course, he's a massive player. I work with him and I know when, when he ticks, what can bring to the team, you know? So it's my job to get the best out of him, of course.
We haven't discussed the transfer windows and obviously there are a lot of conversation to have around that. I'm only concerned about trying to win football games right now and finding a way to improve little things that bring them confidence, you know, to step on that football pitch and improve better than one they've been doing. I think to set targets at the moment is not what I would like to do. I would like to take it uh, day by day. We have a lot of things to do. What is clear is the ambition of this football club are very clear. You have to be in Europe, you have to fight for trophies, and the rest is not good enough. It's as simple as this. But now to talk about this is a little bit far. I would like to talk about what we're going to be doing tomorrow in the game, win on the game, leave the moral of the team, and then Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, go to Bournemouth, start doing it again. And what sort of role do you expect for Lindbergh to play moving forward? It's a conversation I, I was with him this morning uh, when we addressed the players and we spoke to them. Uh, I have a conversation with him afterwards to see his expectations and how I see the situation and uh, we will know something after that. I haven't had the chance to speak to him. Listen, the relationship between me and me, it's incredibly good, you know, obviously he was sad and the timing wasn't the best, you know, for, for him, but uh, he understood. He, he knows how I've been growing and the, the needs that I had emotionally, the ambitions that I had, and he kept giving me more and more and more over the years. If I had admiration for him before, after working with him, I could not explain how a nice person he is and what a professional he is. The way he reacted with me looking at my eyes, he knew that I was suffering because I was feeling I was leaving him in a moment where obviously they need me a little bit as well. So I felt in that sense a little bit sad, you know, but he's been so supportive. The same as Chiki, as Ferran and Kaldun. I was on the phone with him yesterday. So the terms that we left the relationship in, it could not be any better. You know, I say goodbye yesterday to all the staff and the training ground, all the players. I cried, you know, because they've been my family for three and a half years and we had incredible moments. We had a dream to do something in England with Pep that people say, ah, you cannot do it, it's impossible. The Premier League, they will, you will get bullied. And we did it in the way we believed we could do it, you know, and that's so fulfilling. And we share that feeling for the rest of our lives, the moment that we live together. Just a couple more, Eddie. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, many people feel that your potential is so good because sometimes in this industry you can have a plan and you can have an idea or a way to develop the best possible way and there the emotions get involved and when Arsenal knocks in any door, it's difficult to say no. When he knocks in my door and he touches my heart, it makes it very, very difficult. So it was a very difficult decision, it's true. But, um, but as well, I felt that the club needed someone to appoint. I saw and they transmit that they were so convinced that they want me to go with me, that I said, I have to take the challenge. Uh, that's all in my hands, the lawyers, and they're doing the perfect work all together. I would like to do that as quick as possible, but to be fair, the time scale is being hectic. I had games when I was at City, so there is a lot of things that had to be done, but uh, it will be announced very, very shortly. No, like I said to, to him before, I need to sit down and have a proper conversation. I didn't believe that today was the day just before traveling to speak to Freddy for 10 minutes because I might need to speak with him for eight hours to really explain me the situation, what his aims are, what he's seen from the players and understand the history of what happens in the last 18 months at the club. So we will sit down, we'll grab a coffee or, or a bowl of coffee, I don't know, and, and then we will make the decision. Tomorrow's game. 
No, I just said, you know, you know them, you've been training with them, do what you feel. I tell them a little bit what I wanted from them and, and that's it. Thanks everyone. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you.